Machelen upon Leie is located in the heart of the Leie region, 20 kilometers southwest of Ghent. Close to the Leie is the Roger Raville Museum, founded at the request of a key figure in post-war painting in Belgium. Roger Raville was born in 1921, in this village that still retains much of its rural character today. He would continue to live and work here all his life until his passing in 2013. The young Raville closely studies art history and feels a connection with innovative painters of the previous generation, such as Mondrian, Van Gogh, Léger, Matisse and Munch. In 1948, dan vanuit een eigentijdse mentaliteit. Ik wilde in elk geval niet meer schilderen wat de vorige generaties ons hadden geleerd. Het was voor mij duidelijk dat iedere generatie opnieuw de dingen moest ervaren en daaruit een, een vorm distilleren. The visual motifs that appear in the early work will always be part of his visual universe. Raveel looks at the world and picks elements that find a place in his drawings and paintings. The cat his wife Zulma, his father, the table with a bowl and scissors, the window with a view of the garden, the cart, the concrete walls and posts. These elements are both timeless archetypes and fundamental building blocks of his compositions. There where schaduw is, ook daar waar te veel licht is of waar een voorwerp bijvoorbeeld uh, in beweging is verliest het zijn identiteit optisch. Dat werd plastisch vertaald door de vormen abstracter en ook de kleuren abstracter te maken. En in een uiterste geval soms tot een witte leegte, een afwezigheid. Dit had dan een soort had verwezenlijkt in de atmosfeer van het schilderij. From the mid-1950s, Raveel intensified the abstract experiment in his drawings and paintings. He makes progressive work with a great sense of color, expression and atmosphere. However, he never loses the connection with concrete reality. Ik verlangde om een intenser, een sensueler contact te hebben met de natuur. Ik vond de natuur verloren gaan in mijn werk. Ik ging dan buiten schilderen in mijn tuin. En die abstracte schilderijen zijn meestal direct naar het motief geschilderd. Dat had voor gevolg een soort bad nemen in de realiteit. The square occupies a prominent place. For the painter, the square, often as a white surface or later also as a mirror, implies a mental space. The square is the only shape that does not occur in nature but is a human construction. In 1962, Raville creates one of the key works from his oeuvre, Farmyard with Live Dove, a large triptych on which he mounts a cage containing a living bird. This is where Raville lays the roots of the new vision, an intense interweaving between art and reality. He further strengthens the combination of abstract painted zones with figurative elements in hard silhouettes and bright colours by, among other things, attaching objects to the painting. In this way, Raville tries to let the painting blend into its surroundings. After a first solo exhibition at the Palace of Fine Arts in Brussels in 1966, Raville transforms the cellar corridors of the castle of Beervelde into a pictorial environment together with Etienne Elias, Raoul de Keizer and Renier Lucas. The new vision is an other manier van kijken. Een andere manier van contact nemen met de ons omringende wereld. Maar wat ook belangrijk is, is het feit dat het schilderij of het kunstwerk, zij dus het nu een tekening of een object, uitvloeit in de omgeving. En andersom, de toeschouwer wordt betrokken in het kunstwerk. Raveel's work was subsequently shown in 1968 at the Venice Biennale and Documenta 4 in Kassel. A few years later, he takes part in the Sao Paulo Biennale and his work will be frequently seen in the Netherlands and Germany. In 1971, Raville takes action. His swans float on the canals during the Bruges Triennial. 
This generates the much needed media attention for the polluted water of the city. That same year he creates a raft with a painting mounted on it. He has it pulled from his village Machelen to Astana over an arm of the river Leia, which is in danger of being filled in. This action once again has great resonance with a wide audience as well as politicians and draws attention to ecological and social issues. Thanks to Ravel's raft, this old arm of the river was preserved. Roger Ravel will continue to work actively in his studio until the end of his life. He died in 2013 at the age of 91. Ravel's position as a bridge figure between modern and contemporary painting is still of great significance today for contemporaries and younger generations of painters. Today, the Roger Ravel Museum preserves, researches and makes public a large collection of key works by this exceptional painter.